Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, in our ongoing study of a phenomenology of Christian life by Felix Mercata, published by Indiana University Press in 2013. We're going to take a look at a composite recap of all 141 pages that we have covered. And it'll be our regular um, composite chart for a phenomenology. So it will be a phenomenology, phenomenology of Christian life. And the bottom of the chart will be the realm of the sensate. The top of the chart is the realm of the true. The left of the chart is the realm of subjectivity. The right of the chart is the realm of objectivity. But I have all the moments labeled, and we'll go through this and take a look at this composite that Mercata gives us. Let's begin with block one and take a look at our phenomenological starting point. We seek to discover a phenomenology of rupture and appearing in but not of the world. Appearing is both glory and night, a seeing of transcendence within worldly relations. Worldly light is turned to darkness when the call of orientation is heard. There is a moment of negation, block two, we negate the notion of cosmos as self-sufficient. We reinterpret methexis, the relation of a particular to a form, where transcendence spills over into eminence. We negate false Platonism, and we affirm unity of body and soul, and we recognize that Christ, the person, is the content of Ida's form. After passing through negation, we move on to the beginning of reaching understanding in block three. We take up the event character of truth. The time of Christ is kairos, not chronos, but kairos, full of uncertainty and surprise. The self takes up the work of constituting the truth. That is our ministry, to constitute the truth through the self's being in the world. And by that, he means it in the sense of Heidegger, being in the world but not of the world. We deconstruct worldly wisdom, allow originary experience to appear through the self's mode of being, which is not of the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Now we move into spiritual self-consciousness in block four. Actually, four and four B. It's going to, we'll begin with four. Right in the center of the page. The divine is grasped as the message received in the world, as logos intelligibility. It's disclosed as a condition of possibility that transitions from sensation to representation. Self reaches understanding. How this happens is note five divine, divine idas form overflows into the self. Self grasp a thematic trace for world, a thematic divine trace for real world. Now what this means for consciousness, we take a look at in that circle to the left. It is a consciousness of revelation. And for Mercata, it's always received in radical passivity. It is received in radical passivity as the beyond of being, as the weightiness, that's the way he describes it, a weightedness of doxa. It does call for ethical response. It's the height of God that we are filled with and that which we internalize. We internalize the height of God in this radical passivity. That constitutes our spiritual consciousness and leads us up to the top of the chart now to the internal triad that drives Mercata's phenomenology. The internal triad is always, in this chart, it's always block five, six, and seven. And the internal triad that drives a phenomenology of Christian life for Mercata is desire, love, and education. 
Desire, block 5. Love, block 6. Education, block 7. So let's take a look at this uh, driving power and force, the internal triad of Mercado's entire system. In block 5, the call of beauty is recognized, and this call of phenomena creates the self's desire to be oriented toward others and oriented toward kingdom by being not of the world. We feel led out to things, and we, are, we feel compelled to name things in their idas form, and this becomes, says Mercata, the praise response of the self. It becomes praise response. We enter into the triad of desire, love, and education. So next we pass into block six, the meditative moment of love. This is prayerful internalization, which must precede positing. It's a suspension of judgment until positing and return take place. It's contemplating the originary logos and Christ. It's subordinating our will to absolute will. We become passively moved prior to positing. It's all about the self-actualization of spirit. We are passively moved prior to positing. But faith is positing in block 7. It is education. It's faith as positing. And so note 7, it's our response of faith. The self receives a signal of effective movement of the divine of being drawn to positive action. We identify those places within actuality that disclose a surplus of promise, says Mercata, where transcendental form is made manifest and positing things are ordered according to desire. It's an ontological ministry. Things are ordered according to desire. The object of beauty awakens our conscious positing. But the key point here is that uh, our ministry is a ministry of existence where we try to actualize things as ordered according to the desire for kingdom. That leads us to that objective realm and the realm of praxis in note 8. The ordering principle of the cosmos is what Mercata calls the movement of light. Praxis means to give objects their truth within the orienting of the good. It means to actualize the invisible real. Knowledge of real becomes self-actualized. It's the actualization of our posited imagination. It is a creative and imaginative positing. And Mercado says this equals the ecstatic movement of desire. Praxis is the ecstatic movement of desire. Praxis is the ecstatic movement of desire. There is, of course, in phenomenology, a return moment. That's in block 9. Let's look at return moment. Return moment takes place in the puncture of the field of phenomena. A new rupture of things as ecstatic in the singularity of the state of liberation. It's a moment of anakafalaikai. Anakafalaikai. Which means recapitulation. The recapitulation of all of creation by Christ. Where new signs need to be reconfigured. It's a new disclosure of doxa in the midst of ministry, a new moment of passive receptivity. It's a foresight moment, a given beyond self that needs to be re-internalized as we deepen our imprint of the heart with Christ. But his term for this return moment in this eruption of the new is anakafalakai. Anakaphalakai. And it means recapitulation. So it is uh, 
very much grasp through the lens of Christ and the Christ event. But it is the Greek concept of anakaphalakai, which means recapitulation, that is return moment. So I do want to run through it again because we always run through this twice just to make sure that we really get it down. I mean, we've got enough time to do that and still have a very short lesson here, but it's important to get this recap and to get a vivid, vivid picture. And by the way, if you look at the signals, go to that circle in the middle left. And the three signals, you got a signal going to five and a signal going to six and a signal going to seven. They are the signal of let there be light, the signal of the shining forth of the beyond, and the signal of the sight of faith. So those are there just to remind us of Mercata's uh, work of the spiritual consciousness, which is always present. But again, let's go back to block one. Let's take a look at a second time through the dialectic. Block one, we seek to discover a phenomenology of rupture and appearing in but not of the world, appearing in both glory and night, a seeing of transcendence within worldly relations. Worldly light is turned to darkness, where the call of orientation is heard. The call of being oriented toward kingdom and toward others is heard. Under that moment of negation, we negate their notion of cosmos as self-sufficient. We reinterpret methexis, which is a relation of particular to a form where transcendence spills over into imminence. We negate false Platonism. We affirm the unity of body and soul. And we recognize that Christ is the content of Ida's form. Christ, the Christ event, is the content of Ida's form. We begin that beginning of understanding in block three. We take up the event character of truth. The time of Christ is not chronos, it is kairos, full of uncertainty and surprise. The self takes up the work of constituting truth through the self's being in the world but not of the world. We deconstruct worldly wisdom. We allow originary experience to appear through our mode of being, which is to be not of the world. And that will lead us up to spiritual consciousness in block four. So in block four, the divine is grasped as the message received in the world. It's a message of logos intelligibility. It's disclosed as a condition of possibility that transitions from sensation to representation. We reach understanding. The key point is note 5. Divine idas form overflows into the self. It's received in that radical passivity. It's the overflowing of the divine that fills us. We grasp a divine thematic trace for the real world. So consciousness in the circle to the left is a consciousness of revelation. It's received in radical passivity. It's a beyond of being. It's the weightedness of doxa. And it calls for ethical response. It is the height of God reaching the internal core of our existence. And out of the spiritual consciousness, our response is going to be threefold. It's going to be a triad of desire, love, and education. Desire, love, and education. So let's take a look at uh, block five. The call of beauty is recognized. The call of phenomena creates the self's desire to be oriented toward others and toward kingdom by being not of the world. We feel led out to things. We name things according to their idas form. This is, according to Mercata, the self's praise response. 
we enter the triad of desire, love, and education. Now block six, the moment of meditative love, prayerful internalization precedes positing. It's a, a suspension of judgment until positing and return take place, contemplating the originary logos, which is the revelation of Christ. Subordinating our will to absolute will, we are then passively moved prior to our positing. Next is that moment of education, or block seven, the response of faith. The self receives a signal of effective movement, of being drawn to positive action. We identify those places within actuality that disclose a surplus of promise that are on the verge of moving forward where transcendental form is made manifest. In positing, things are ordered according to desire. That's that ontological ministry. Things are ordered according to desire. The object of beauty awakens our conscious positing. So this movement, this internal, internal triad of desire, love, and education leads us to praxis in the objective realm in Note 8. The ordering principle of the cosmos is the movement of light. Praxis means to give objects their truth within the orienting of the good. It's to actualize the invisible real of kingdom. Knowledge of real becomes self-actualized. It's the actualization of our posited imagined imagination or our posited creative ministry. This equals the ecstatic movement of desire. Praxis is the ecstatic movement of desire. That's the definition for Mercata. Praxis is the ecstatic movement of desire. Under return moment in block nine, return moment takes place in the puncture of the field of phenomena, a new rupture of things as ecstatic in the midst of ministry, in the singularity of a state of liberation. It is a moment of anakaphalakai, a moment of anakaphalakai, which is recapitulation of all of creation by Christ, where new signs need to be reconfigured. It's a new disclosure of doxa in the midst of ministry, a new moment of passive receptivity, a foresight moment, a given beyond the self, which needs to be re-internalized in return moment which leads us back to the dialectic again. So that gives us uh, two passes through the composite. I think we've got a good snapshot here now of the entire position of Mercata. He kind of does join together Henri and Marion. But now we've got the picture. This is the picture of Mercata's phenomenology. And your internal triad is block five, six, and seven, desire, love, and education. Desire, love, and education. The desire of being let out to things and to assign their idos form. The love of prayerful internalization before the positing of faith. And then education as... ordering things according to the desire for kingdom. It is ontological mission. So that's going to wrap up our composite, but it gives us a very, very good look at the overall position of Felix Mercata. That wraps up the composite for pages 1 to 141.